<clears throat> okay, hey folks, today I'm going to do some mending of my plastic. I have a Razor 2015 900S and um, I noticed that on both sides of these fender points that it's cracking right in here. The other side was much worse and I had already fixed that side so <clears throat> you can see where it's cracking. So I tried to find something that would work best for it and I found this really great product called uh, JB Weld Plastic Bonder. And the really good thing about this product is it works with thermoplastics. Coated metals, concrete and more but mainly um, the thermoplastic element of this JB Weld Bonder is what I was looking at. Because our these plastics are made of, I think, of a polypropylene impregnated plastic, um, it, it, you can't just go and buy like a super glue or just a standard plastic bonder. You have to, <coughs> um, or a plastic weld. You have to buy this one. As far as I know, this is the best one out there for it. And there it is, right there. I've already tested it on some other plastic I had and it works really well, especially if you let it sit overnight. Then you can always come back and sand off the the excess after it hardens up. Now, I had already done this, but basically you just want to sand this area a little bit. If you can get in there with a, a really thin 220 grit or something, sand in there. If you can't, that's probably okay. This this bond is still gonna adhere to it pretty well. And then you come back the next day, or even an hour later, if you want, and sand off the rest of it. For some reason, these razors, I think if you were to pull your fender off, you would see the same crack on, your, on yours as well as mine has here. So, let's go ahead and see if we can work on that. Now, I've already mixed some up here in this little tray that it comes with. It's already starting to get kind of gooey. See how that looks. I'm going to use a razor blade to get inside that crack. Basically, all I really want to do is just fill it. Apparently, it also fills up the, the crack. It doesn't just glue it together, but it, it can kind of fill it in as well if you've lost some plastic. It's like a crap job, but... So I'm going to just... do the best I can by the other side was much worse so it wasn't so hard getting it in the crack but this side obviously doesn't have that much of a problem so I'm scraping some of it off just that top layer kind of squeezing it in there as I'm scraping it off So, okay. I wouldn't worry too much about trying to find a clamp or something to keep it together because that's going to be really hard to do. This will fill in that crack well enough to where it kind of creates its own sort of plastic extension, you know, it extends the plastic a little bit by forming to it. Now you can, cl you can clean this part out if you want, all this, but try not to touch the inside of that. And I, and I've, I found that just using rubbing alcohol cleans it really well, but you got to get it while it's still wet on the outside. That, all this stuff's going to harden really hard <laughs> if uh, you let it sit. Whenever you open this thing up, you want to make sure 
that you you close it up right away because this stuff does harden really quick there was a little um, sort of like a rivet that went in here like a little clamp and I took it off before I decided to apply the glue now I'm going to put a little rubbing alcohol on some paper and clean off the outside or you can you can use some q-tips too which is just as effective and a little more focused on what it is you're trying to clean basically I'll just see well it's still wet you can clean it with this rubbing alcohol just the outside This plastic bond stuff, like I said, I've tried it already, I've tested it, and it works phenomenal. Um, by morning, that little hairline crack that I filled with that, plas with that plastic bonder will harden better than it was before the crack happened. And that's pretty much it. You know, by tomorrow, it'll harden up really well. If you want, you can sand it down a little bit. And then you're good to go. Anyway, if you like what you've just saw, saw, please comment. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And I'm out. Thanks for watching.